Irma Alvarado once dreamt of a brighter future. Her husband was working in the United States, and Irma thought with the money he sent home, she'd soon be enjoying a more comfortable life. But 23 years later, she hasn't received a penny. In fact, neither she nor her children have even seen her husband for nearly two decades. It's the most triste que abandonar. Abandoning your children and your wife, this is the saddest thing. They say they will go and achieve something. Then you wait and wait, but nothing happens. You lose so much. Your children are so sad. Poverty and lack of opportunities continue to push many Guatemalans to make the dangerous journey north. Here in Irma's community, one out of every three people has gone to the United States. It seems like this one behind me that really fuel a migrant's dream of traveling to the United States. The idea of coming back to Guatemala with bagfuls of money, buying a piece of land, and building a dream house. Armed with U.S. dollars, migrants are driving up the price and unwittingly forcing others to leave their communities. Over the past two decades, the price of parcels of land like this has shot up by 10,000 percent. It was enough to send two of Maria Diaz's sons north. They left because the price of land has gone up so much, and the only way to be able to buy land here is to go to the United States to work. Back at Irma Alvarado's house, she and her children get ready for dinner. Her son has seen many of his friends go north to seek their fortunes, but he says that many are deported and come back with crippling debt. It's one more reason for him to stay put. Guatemalans don't realize there are opportunities here in Guatemala, so they go to the United States. I'm not saying that the United States isn't good, but what happened to us happens to so many other families. But for thousands of young Guatemalans, despite the worries and the problems, the land of opportunity will continue to draw them north. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, San Antonio, Sija, Guatemala.